with all that, let's check in with KTK's meteorologist Andrew Samet to see how well the weather is going to cooperate through some of these events this weekend, Andrew. And that radar's got a lot of clouds <laughs> on it. How are we going to how are we going to uh, go? Yeah, we're finally going to see these clouds uh, slowly start to decrease area wide over the next several hours here. They've already decreased out in deep east Texas. You're seeing a lot more sunshine down there, but we still got the thick cloud cover along the north of Interstate 20 right now. Temperatures sitting out in the upper 60s where we still have the clouds at their thickest and then it's 70s elsewhere. So it is a lot warmer than this time yesterday already. I uh, remember yesterday all we got to was 77 in Tyler and we're already at 75 and that's with the clouds right now. So as the sun keeps getting out and going, we're going to heat up into those lower 80s later on today. Maybe a few mid 80s here or there as well. We're also getting a cold front moving in during the day today that will turn winds to the south from the southwest to the northwesterly direction. Basically, we've got that warm air coming in from the Gulf of Mexico ahead of the cold front and then once the cold front swings on through the winds turn to the northwest and that starts to bring in that cooler air from the northern plains that will be uh, with us as we head throughout the weekend. Now the weekend's going to be quite nice out there in terms of the sunshine. It's going to be dry as well. It is going to be cool and a bit breezy, especially on a Saturday where winds could be sustained up to 20 miles per hour with some higher wind gusts. So just be prepared for it to be cool and windy when you uh, go view the solar eclipse on our Saturday. Uh, we'll see plenty of sunshine, just a few passing clouds here or there, but not enough to any, ruin any of the sights. We're going, we're going to see those high temperatures staying in the upper 60s Sunday and Monday. So some of the coolest air we've seen in quite some time here. We will rebound back up to near 80 degrees by the middle part of next week. But for the most part, after today, we're going to be below average for our high temperatures. Looking ahead with our 6 to 10 day temperature outlook valid from this coming Wednesday through next Sunday, October 22nd. We're going to see about an equal chance of seeing above or below average temperatures across East Texas, which basically means we'll see seasonal temperatures heading into the end of next week and into the weekend, which of course includes the Rose Parade. So right now, even though we can't give a specific forecast, it does look like it will be around where we should be for this time of the year on the Rose Parade. Cool in the morning, but pleasant in the afternoon. In terms of rainfall totals for the month of October, uh, this is where we will stay pretty much for the rest of the uh, weekend and into next week with our next rain chances not returning until Thursday, but we still have a surplus of rain across the area, so that is certainly some good news. Looking ahead, though, with our 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook, valid from this coming Wednesday, October 18th through Sunday, October 22nd. We're going to favor above average rain chances. That's mostly for that storm system. It's mostly accounting for that storm system that will be moving in next Thursday and Friday. Uh, that's when we will see the most rain next week. And at this point, it does look like we'll uh, start to dry things out by the time the Rose Parade arrives. Now, our forecast for today looks like this. We climb into the lower 80s. Can't rule out a stray shower or two in deep east Texas as that cold front moves on through. And then for tonight, we are going to drop down to the low 50s out there underneath mostly clear skies. So if you're going to the football games this evening, just have that jacket at least in the back seat of your car because once the sun sets and we get closer to the end of the games, it may be a bit cool out there. As we take a look at your seven day forecast now, we are going to see lots of sunshine through the weekend and into much of next week as well, with clouds increasing on Thursday along with returning rain chances. Other than that, it is cool and dry for the weekend. For deep east Texas, it is more of the same. Look for those highs to uh, drop significantly into the weekend and into the start of next week with morning lows dropping well down into the 40s. And for your latest weather forecast, you can head on over to our website.